Neapel, Joseph Toflove is emerging as one of the most dangerous and powerful light middleweights in the world. From Vitrol, France, he is a multiple French national and international open champion. 5'7 of rock, 80 kilograms in body weight. Speed will be a weapon for the Frenchman. Stephen the Hit Curlew, however, lives on speed. And the man from Milton Keynes, England, has a height and leverage advantage. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighs 84 kilograms. His pedigree is beyond question as a multiple British champion. I'm here to call Joseph Levey from France. My name is Joseph Levey. Um, pulling Stephen Curlew. Well, Joseph Levey, um, I haven't seen a great deal of him over the past you know, up to, a, up to about two years ago, but from two years ago he's kind of made a real uh, significant entrance and he's really doing amazing, he's, he's kind of making waves in, the, uh, in arm wrestling. And my strengths over Joseph Leve are uh, my levers, I've got long arms, uh, big hand, long fingers, so what I can do um, potentially is um, top roll him, I know he's got a short arm, he's got thick, thick wrists, uh, he's got uh, thick fingers and strong, strong hand, so I know he's a really good uh, hooker and I know that's his favourite technique, at least on the, on the right arm, so that's where he's going to go straight away. And what I need to do is kind of counter that by rotating his wrist and trying to top, top roll him. And I think if I do that, I'll be able to get out of his hand and win. I think it will be a good match. Joseph Top Lobe from Vitrol, France, that really emerged in the last 18 months as an incredibly powerful force in the light middle division. Stephen Curlew has enormous experience of his own a multiple WAF bronze medalist and British national champion. This guy is a real standout of Team Great Britain. Incredibly intense and aggressive match. Is the prospect here for all at Killer Instinct. As these two young men take the main stage, who will draw first blood? Speed is a weapon for both. Oh, massive hit. We will need to decide it in the strap. No advantage gained there. Start with shoulders again, okay? Anderson taking control of these two men. Putting the strap. You need to lower your grip. Okay. Around the wrists, around the hands, it buckles shut. There's no escape. We will get a winner this time. Enormous drive off the start. The Frenchman tries to secure that early hit, but you can see the determination and effort of the counter top roll from Stephen Curley. Now, Joseph Levey has got onto the running foul, and I don't think the Frenchman is aware of it. He's on the blind side, Eric Anderson signals low on the runner. But the arm strength of LeVay is clearly massive in the opening round. And Stephen Curlew is in an awkward position there, can't keep on his shoulder, but he has seen that the running foul is applied. It will be a restart. Joseph Lavey wasn't aware, just found out, but it will give him confidence that he does have the power when the match stops. Big drive, lucky to get away. Oh, he hasn't got away with it. The down ref has spotted it. It's a second foul, and the first pin goes to Stephen Curlew, not the way he would have liked to win it. And you do feel for the Frenchman, Joseph Lavey looked like he had certainly comparable arm strength, yeah, but it's a a foul there and he does gain an advantage yeah go for his hand got him this time go for that hand if it slips where you were getting that top position yeah stay on it come mm. in hold i keep going oh, low on the hand yeah. every time you take his hand back you're letting him bring it back come back letting him bring mm -hmm. it back mm -hmm. stay on top come back a little bit just pull okay. back a little bit more j'ai l'impression que je suis aux accoups là les deux fois que les amis aux accoups ok on se retrouve là-dessus je vais aller plus vite là Regular viewers to the Super Series will recognise two familiar faces in the corner. Stephen Curlew with Nosferatu. Dan Thomas. Giant Gregory Schneider in the corner. No surprise we're in the strap. Both men hitting, no advantage gain. Both men rotate to try to attack the fingers of their opponent and end up in the strap match. Nowhere to run again. So in the opening round, the arm strength of Levy was definitely yes. dominant, but a nice rotating Come on. top roll. And the hand and control is secured by a very thoughtful looking Stephen Curl, who is trying to pick his punches now. He's got a little bit of hand control, but look at the arm strength of Levy. 
Trying to soak up the hits. And drive from Stephen Curlew. He's got that secured and he'll try to time the hits, time the attacks. This is all good stuff for the Englishman because the hand and wrist of Levy will be furiously building the lactic acid up. Now he'll try. Oh, elbow foul there. And I do uh, feel that that may have been done intentionally by Love. A little bit smart, but. Good. It was significant, significant enough for him to go on to the full foul, and he hits hard again, but he's sucked into that top row, rotating control again by Stephen Curlew, and Curlew has total hand control. The arm strength of the Frenchman is certainly high, but he won't stop the try press. Oh, what a tremendous transition there. Watch this from Curlew. A little bump across, and he rotates around, presses down, keeps on the ball, Waits for the breath of the Frenchman and applies again. Stephen Curlew with a win. Absolutely, a lot better. Did you get on the tricep like that one? I don't know. It looked look from the back that you were getting. <laughs> He's the so breath. strong. He is even, strong. Even here. Can't even take his hand down, even when I've got his hand. He's tough, he's tough, he's eh? Just the doigt, eh? Oui. It's going to be dur, eh? Oui. What a powerful man. Joseph Tough Love, he really is. Super strong athlete. Really exploded onto the circuit in the last two years as a real danger man. Both men happy to go to the strap again. Initiation from Stephen Curlew. And that little counter rotation from Joseph Love, just allowing Stephen to roll over that top. The index finger knuckle. Look at that from Curlew again. He secures hand control, but the arm strength of the Frenchman is remarkable. Massive elbow yeah. foul from Curlew there, and he was aware of it. Yeah. Look at Anderson right on top of that. Points it out immediately. And Joseph Love had spotted it also, but this is good news for the Englishman because he's getting total hand control, and that's a great win for Curlew. Joseph Love unable to stop the transition. He's left his arm hanging there, and Stephen Curlew came in again. Little bump on the transition there. Now watch this bang. There it is. He mocks a top roll and then hits with the side well, pressure. What the press? Seen you press. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quite happy about that. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's tired, but he's more tired than me. Yeah. So I just want to make him feel like he's more tired than me. So I'm trying to pretend that I'm not tired. So get the, get the straps again. Yeah. You probably got the better endurance. En fait, faut pas que ce point il reste il reste fixe, sinon ça fait ça. Right. Essaye de partir vers le lui il tire, mais essaye de partir avec lui pour essayer de le ramener. Quitte à partir chez toi, mais ne lui laisse pas prendre ta main. Essaye. Gregory the Cold Schneider, one of the most technical pullers in the world. Explaining okay. in French to his teammate that he's been ridden on the hit and that he needs to try a counter attacking style with his own top row. Stephen Curlew is a master at doing that, and we've seen it applied in all three of the opening rounds, and he's done it again. Absolute hand control. The hand and wrist of Levay will be burning hard at this stage. Big, aggressive drive from Curl, who arches his back as he levers up on top of that one. Takes the pin and a frustrated Joseph Levay. Look at that on the replay, an aggressive, relentless attack from the Englishman. Then he crept up on top of it, arches in with the tricep press. And Joseph Levay was furious. Yeah. Yeah. Take him inside. Ah, no, 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 you're not going to do it. Putain, it's not going to be too far. I don't know. That's not possible. I don't know. Love is so clearly frustrated in the corner there, but he lost hand control at such an early stage in the match and was forced to defend Stop, in a sir. terribly negative position. His arm sir. appears to have burned out, and I think it's the end of the road for the Frenchman. Look at that on the replay. He was nowhere near preventing that. A little change of direction from Curly when he slams it to the pad. Too easy. Set up on me. He's mad, eh? It's finished. I don't want to. 
finish, says Love. His arm is heavily inflated. The lactic acid buildup will be ridiculous. Can't feel his hand, can't feel his wrist. Surely Curler will roll straight through that hand and wrist. I really don't see a way back unless Curlew slots it into a hook, and he does. The Englishman going for one on the inside for Pride to see if he can mix it up with Love. But I think he'll have done immeasurable damage to the arm of the Frenchman. And whilst Joseph is a battler, surely he can't contain Curlew because he can engage his own hand and wrist. And he's flat-wristed now. He has no control in the match whatsoever. And Curlew just does what he wants with him on the hand and wrist. No chance to move there. And a laughing acknowledgement there from the Frenchman. But you can see what a disadvantage he had there. He couldn't close his own hand and wrist. And Stephen Curlew had fantastic position throughout. The arm strength of the Frenchman was astronomical. But he was put in bad positions early. And Stephen Curlew with an impressive victory here in